Matthew 5, 5 says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Now, I don't think I have to work that hard to convince anyone how counterintuitive this blessing is. Not many in their culture or ours would take meekness and hang it as a core value or inspirational quote in their place of business or their high impact gym. The meek of the world don't usually seem set up to inherit and they definitely don't get lined up for many ceremonies of congratulations. But according to Jesus, meekness is the means to a beautiful and blessed inheritance. Look at the scripture Jesus was actually quoting here. It comes from Psalm 37, verses 10 through 11. It says, In just a little while, the wicked, there'll be no more. Though you look carefully at his place, he will not be there. But the meek, they shall inherit the land and delight themselves in abundant peace. Y'all, check the dichotomy here. There's a group of people who, in all of their gain and grabbing and self-assertion, they may hold the top tier for a time, but keep looking. Sin, they will be no more. But the meek, they may not be the most noticeable. They won't necessarily be the first ones picked out of a crowd to lead the charge or celebrated for their dominance. They're just out here humbly serving, living in the peaceful pace that meekness affords us. To be truly meek means to walk in a settled gentleness. It's the same kind of quiet and diligent power that enabled Jesus himself to walk in an authority that didn't have to boast or brag, for he simply was. What many may have mislabeled weakness is actually power under control. Deeply aware of who he was and the mission he and his father were determined to finish together. And it is this very characteristic that he invites all of us to intimately learn. In Matthew 11, 28 through 30, he beckons, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. That's meek. And you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke, it's easy. My burden is light. This may have been one of the most offensive qualities of Christ to those who only knew self-assertion and personal gain. In all honesty, it may still be. Because this kind of strength that tends to make those uneasy who cover insecurity with a strong arm or a loud opinion. But the quality of the truly strong, those who decline to domineer, those who could assert themselves but choose not to do so, those who deeply trust God to fight for ultimate justice, and uphold the cause of the righteous, those are the ones who qualify for this blessing. I mean, look at what happened to Christ because of his settled and strong meekness. Philippians 2, 5 through 9 encourages us to have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, he did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. Meekness looks like this. It trusts in a power beyond its own. It relies more on the foundational promises of God above anything or anyone else. And it is confident that humble obedience to God's voice leads to a preferred and beautiful future. May those who learn to live in the power of meekness delight in the beauty of a great inheritance purchased for them by their mighty and meek king.